In this video, I'm discussing the names of certain points as part of the backgammon terminology series. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and what you'd like to see in future videos so I can work on that. My book, Backgammon Backgame Strategies, is now available. There's a link in the description to where you can get it. And if you're interested in lessons, I'm offering lessons. Uh, please contact me via email. My email address is in the description. So we're going to be talking about some of the terminology in terms of the names of the points on the backgammon board. So on the backgammon board, there are 24 points. And of course, checkers can be born off. That's considered off or the zero point. And they can also be placed on the bar, which is called the bar, or it can also be the 25 point. This is from orange, Orange's perspective. Orange is going in this direction, the clockwise direction. And the points are numbered 1 through 24. 1 through 12 is on Orange's side. And 13 through 24 is on purple side. Uh, 1 is all the way on the left, and 12 goes all the way to the right. And on the other side, 13 is on the right, and 24 is on the left. Uh, orange has to go from 24 all the way around to ultimately get into the inner board, one through six, and then start bearing off. And you see there are four quadrants and six points within each quadrant. Each point can be named by the number of the points, such as the one point, the two point, three point, and so forth. But some of them have other names, and we'll go through that here. The one point is also called the ace point because an ace is like a one. So sometimes you'll hear people say ace point, um, uh, and that's the one point. And sometimes people have an ace point game, which, which means they have an anchor on the opponent's ace point. The midpoint is the 13 point. And it's called the midpoint is because it's midway between the back checkers and basically where you want to bear off. Um, halfway between 24 and 1 is approximately 13. Um, so that's the midpoint. It serves as a point of communication between uh, the back checkers and the rest of the army here. And it serves as a safe landing spot for the back checkers to land. And also it serves as a source of builders. These three checkers can be brought down into the outfield. Next is the bar point. This is the seven point. It's called the bar point because it's adjacent to the bar. Uh, although the six point is also uh, adjacent to the bar, the bar point is the seven point. And this is the bar itself. So a checker can be placed on the bar. It's called having a checker on the bar or in the air or on the roof or a variety of other things. It can also be called roof, as I mentioned, or in the air. So that was the terminology of some of the point names. I hope you learned something. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and what you'd like to see in future videos so I can work on that. Again, my book, Backgammon, Backgame Strategies is now available. There's a link in the description to where you can get that. And I am offering lessons. If you're interested, please contact me via email. My email address is in the description. I look forward to seeing you in future videos. And until then, keep rolling your dice.